Hey, 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 fellas, it is Dr. Loki here, bringing you a little kill confirmed on Hard Hat. And right now, during this beautiful footage, I'm going to be discussing whether you should pick up Modern Warfare 3 or whether you should not pick it up, not spend the money, and not waste the money on a game. Um, you know, on another game. Anyway, let's dive right into this. I'm going to list out a few of the negatives, a few of the positives, and, um, you know, what type of gamer should buy this and what type of gamer should not buy this. And I'm going to just go right into it. So, first of all, the graphics have been greatly improved. The field of the game has been vastly changed. Um, not necessarily for the better, but not necessarily for the worse. So, it takes a while to get used to. It took me, an, um, you know, it took me almost all night. And all day, all, or all morning, I guess I could say, from 12 to like 7, I was still not, I was still a little bit wobbly with the controls, and I didn't like it much, and I was a little bit confused. And um, after that giant chunk of just sitting down, you know, I got back on it, um, you know, three hours later after that, and now I'm doing really well. I'm pulling it together, I unlocked new guns, I'm getting the hang of it, so I'm going to say... Now, I think it's worth it. Like, at first, I was like, this game is, is nothing spectacular. Now, I'm starting to see this game is awesome. And, it, you know, obviously, me doing well plays a big part in whether I'm feeling good about the game or not feeling good. But I'm going to tell you from the most unbiased point of view I can, um, you know, the facts and the details about this game. So, you know, the graphics are better than Modern Warfare 2, uh, as well as the sound. Those two things have been improved um, by Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Gaming. Um, studios, so those are two things that I'm I'm pleased with. The feel of the game, like I said, has been vastly changed. I don't know if that's better or worse, but now that I'm used to it, I don't give a fuck. So if you're if you're someone who has always loved the um, Call of Duty feel, and you know it's, it's been kind of vastly changed for me, then you know you're probably gonna have a little issue with this in the beginning until you get used to it. Um, I realize it's still it's still a Call of Duty game. It's obviously a Call of Duty feel. But it's a different Call of Duty feel. You know what I'm saying? It feels, still feels like the arcade, but maybe a little bit more realistic. They waited it out a little bit. So if you're a Battlefield fan, I would say you're gonna like this for the most part, like the feel of this game. It um, it, you know, it's you know, fairly similar, a little bit more realistic um, than it used to be, which was that arcade like, oh look, let me let me just you know spin around so easily, fluidly, all that stuff. It's it's a mixture between, I would say, Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. It's they meet in the middle, and that's what it feels like. And, um, you know, that's, it's an interesting mix, and it took me a while to get used to. Now, if you're a Battlefield 3 fan and you're going to be playing Battlefield 3 most of the gaming season, um, I would say this might not be for you. And the reason for that is because you need to spend a lot of time on it to rank up, to get the proper weapons, and to, um, you know, to basically just be able to have fun and do well in this game and be successful. Um, one of the things I really noticed was that the weapons in the beginning are disgusting. They're atrocious. You cannot do well with the weapons in the beginning. A lot of them suck. Um, they hurt you, and you have to unlock the l the levels of the weapons so that you can start unlocking th um, like little like weapon attachments and perks and different stuff. As you see, I have silencer on this weapon, and I also have steady um, steady fire so that it's, it it doesn't waver as much as it used to, and that really does help me, and that has has greatly improved my game. But I had to work for it, and I had to go negative in some games with this gun to be able to unlock what I have now. And, you know, obviously that is a, a problem. I don't like that. I don't think that's good. I don't think that I should have to go negative in games and, uh, you know, basically handicap myself to start getting better weapons. I think that's actually, um, they're off on that. I think that was not a smart move with Infinity Ward. I think they might have dicked the pooch on that one. Um, nonetheless... I do think once once you unlock the the abilities and the things you need to have an awesome weapon that can actually do work, uh, then it becomes really fun. But you have to realize you have to you have to. I'm sorry, I'm getting a call right now. You have to take a lot of time to um, you know, you have to dedicate a lot of time to unlocking the weapons you want and to experimenting to figure out which classes um you you like the most. So you need a lot of time for this game. That's one of the things. So if you don't have a lot of time and you're a gamer, then don't get it. Now, if you're a, a diehard Call of Duty fan, this is another one, um, another awesome Call of Duty series. You gotta get it. It's it's a must. Um, it, you know, it's obviously it's a really nice game. It's really well polished. No game breaking glitches as of now. At this juncture, I don't see anything wrong with it. It seems like a um, a totally fine game. I can I can possibly point out a few things that that might go wrong with it. Um, you know, that might include kill streaks. I'm pretty sure they've checked that really well, but I think that will become a nuisance, uh, you know, something we laugh at. 
Um, you know, I'm just I'm just thinking long term, a year from now, when I'm like playing, you know, Black Ops two, what am I gonna be saying? Am I gonna be like, Yeah, those kill streaks blue, can't wait for Black Ops two, I hope the kill streaks aren't shitty. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just trying to think ahead. It might be kill streaks, it might might be connection, it might be gun rate wavering. As of now there's been no connection problems. Um, no gun wavering, none of the shit I experienced in Black Ops, no hit detection problems, everything seems very, very um, refined, very on top of it, the servers seem great, um, you know, everything just seems fine, so I have no problem with this game as of now, um, I, the, only th the only potential thing I could see being a problem is obviously killstreaks, like I said, um, possibly, though, I think maps could be a little issue, the maps, I think they've dropped the ball on the maps a little bit, um, for the, for the most part, in Modern Warfare 2, there were these really creative designs, really brand new, out of the ordinary, stuff you haven't hadn't seen before. In here, I, I mean, I can go through every single map and say, you know, this looks like Backlot, for example. This one, it's a construction yard. Um, you know, obviously it's not like Backlot, but it has that feel. They're, they've really used so many ideas in Call of Duty that they're out of ideas for creating new maps. And um, that might be a little issue going forward because these maps are very bland, there's nothing new, and there's nothing really exciting. They're very fair and balanced, though. So I have no complaints with that. It's just, it's always fun to be like, whoa, I'm in this whole new setting. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this game. I would say it is a buy for most people. Um, for some of you, though, who don't buy it. Anyway, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my live streams and other awesome stuff. If you think this video deserves it, please give it a like rating or a favorite, and leave a comment below if you have anything to add. So long, fellas. Z Doctor is out. Fellas, Z Doctor.